The first stop of our tour of Durham College Varsity Training Camp begins on the diamond as the Lords prepare for the 2010 women's fastball season. Veterans and freshmen have been in camp all week battling with record temperatures on the diamond. And Coach Nemish likes what he sees so far out of his team. Pretty excited. Uh, we have a couple of nice young rookies in uh, that have uh, really shown some promise and I think they're going to push some of the returnees for a uh, starting spot. Uh, the Heat's played a big part of it this week. Uh, I'll commend the girls for giving a, a good 100% effort during this uh, heat wave. I think in 20 years being here, I think this is the hottest training camp we've ever had. <laughs> Following one more week of training camp, the Lords will eventually make their way to Rochester, New York, where they'll take on Monroe Community College in their annual exhibition series to open up the season. Uh, that road trip is trying to get uh, a solid uh, lineup into place, a uh, batting order that's going to work for us, uh, create some runs, and uh, get some people set on certain positions, yep. and give our pitchers uh, some work to get ready for the season. Expectations are high as usual for the 14-time OCAA champion Durham Lords, but especially this year, since they're hosting the 2010 OCAA Championships coming up in October. I think the team goals is to try to be the best we can, and uh, we want to compete for a gold medal here at the OCs if we're hosting. Yep. Uh, I think that's the ultimate goal, is to win that championship back. And when we go to Nationals, uh, after a fifth place finish last year, we hope to improve on that and maybe uh, come home with a medal, hopefully the goal. Durham's home opener will take place on Thursday, September 16th, as they host the Seneca Sting for doubleheader action beginning at 6 p.m.